Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to ease learning i am taiba and you are watching css front end programming series if you do not have basic knowledge of css i strongly recommend you to watch my previous video learn css front end programming part 1 so let's start in css we have different properties we are quite familiar with border property and now we will discuss margin property we use margin property to specify a space outside the border a white space or a free space outside the border is margin if i set margin property to auto it means i want to set to browser to calculate automatically margin for my border let's run this here is a small space around the border is margin property that is set by browser automatically we can also set margin property manually if i say 100 pixel top 150 pixel right 100 pixel bottom and 150 pixel left let's save this property Now we press this. Now I have set 100 pixel from top and 150 pixel from right and left. From top to bottom, 100 pixel. This value denotes top margin, and this is right. This one is. margin bottom and 150 is for left we use an other property that is padding 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 is quite similar to margin the only difference is we specify white space inside the mark inside the border when we use padding Let's say one hundred pixel, one fifty. Uh, I say one twenty pixel, one hundred pixel. Is again one twenty pixel. Save it by pressing Control S. refresh this page again now you see the content is appearing here and around the content this space is free space this is padding that we have defined in padding property let's understand with an other example this red area is border this is our content area the whole space this space from here to here is content and this is border outside the border is margin the free space outside the border border is margin and inside the border is padding the padding is inside the border and outside the content i hope it's clear from this picture that what is difference between margin and padding and what is border next property is text align text align we use text align property 
to align for alignment of text in horizontal direction. If I say text align is center, then my content would appear in center of the content area. Let's say refresh. Now you see the content is appearing in center. I can also set text align to left and right. Okay, I show you left. Left. Refresh. Now the content is appearing in left side. We can use text transform property to specify uppercase, lowercase or capitalize the first letter of each word. Text transform. If I set text transform to uppercase. Let's see what happened. Control S. Now we see the all content is appearing in capital letters because we have set text transform to uppercase. We can also use it we can also set it to lowercase or capitalize. Capitalize. Save and refresh. Now you see the first letter of each word is capital. That's how text transform property works. Next property is line height. Line height. We use line height property to specify the space between the lines. If I say line height should be 25 pixels. Control S. Refresh this page. Now the difference between two lines is 25 pixels. We can also set height and width for the content. Width. I can set width. I can set width to auto. Auto in auto when we set auto value, it means we want browser to calculate automatically. We can also set this value. If I say 500 pixel width and height 200 pixel. Let's say now the width is 500 pixel and height is 200 pixel. But if I want to me drag this window into a smaller size, then I could not see the whole content in this window. So I can handle this situation by using max width property. Max width property. Max width property is used to set the maximum width of an element. Run it again. If I drag this window, window to a smaller size, I can still see this whole content.
height and width property only specify the content area. It does not include padding, border or margin. Now I am going to end this session. If you guys have questions, just let me know in comment box. I will get you get to you as soon as possible. If you don't have subscribed to my channel, just do it to watch more videos and learn fast. Keep learning. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.